Hello there. Today we're going to talk about proper subsets. So set A is a proper subset of set B. That's how we read it. Set A is a proper subset of B if and only if all the elements of set A are in also set B. But there is one condition. A cannot be equal to B. So what does it mean? Whatever number of elements A has, B must have more than that. In order to be all elements in B, definitely, you cannot have less, so you have to have same M element plus one extra. So it will not make it equal. It's going to be not equal. Okay. So very simple example I can actually work out here. Okay. Very simple one I'm going to work out here. So if I have uh, this set, set A, set A, one, two and set B, one, two, nine. Clearly, I see all the element, as you see, look around here. So this element is basically matching, is going on there. Look at that. Whatever element I have on A, it's basically on B, plus one extra. So if we, Come up with some cardinal OI, right? N of A, we can clearly see 2. N of B, cardinal T of B, it's basically 3. So clearly, A is not equal to B. Therefore, it satisfies the condition, as you clearly see. So this one is not equal. And therefore, this is a proper subset. Let's actually come up with one more example clearly here, okay? Set D apple banana and I'm going to do set E apple banana look at this guys so please check out here is that our is is set d is forming in other words is set d is a proper subset of e it's a question mark so by now you already realize oh that cannot be true why even though this a in next one also and banana is also in there i see that banana here you know on the second one right but d is not equal to well in this case i'm sorry it's not equal it's equal d, d is equal to equal to e so if they're equal if they're equal this is a not a proper subset so we say set d we say in this case set D is not a proper subset of set E. Clearly you see, right? Down here. So apple and ben apple there, banana and banana here, whatever you have on the first set, you do have the same thing on the second. So clearly you do you see these sets are equal, therefore it's not a proper subset. In order to be a proper subset, it must have one extra element, or more than one actually. It can have a five, six, seven, as long as it more than it's not equal, okay? So let's understand more. Let's see, we have a couple more examples. Quickly, you're gonna do that, analyze them, right? Find out whether set A is a proper subset of set B. So again, A and B, any capital letter is gonna make it set. So set A is equal to the set of dog and cat. Set B is equal to the set of dog, cat, bird, fish. Now, we can check it out here. Look at this here. Dog in there. Cat in there. Yeah. So, plus you have one, two extra, which makes it perfect matching. So, we can clearly say that set A is a proper subset of set B. Yes, it is. Why again? Look, plus that is two extra. So A 
or a is in b plus a is not equal to b so it satisfy the condition so our conclusion here is going to be yes it is a proper subset it is a proper subset proper set okay now let's take a look here guys the next one down here okay so clearly you you see that one five is one yes there is one two there is two three yeah there is three four there is four seems like all elements of set a is in set b but there is another condition we have to fulfill remember that was the definition i want to show you here right that is the condition we must fill up here fulfill at the same time they are not equal so now you see down here one is there two is there three is there four is there so this set is a is equal to b by the definition we cannot have that if a is equal to b we say A is a not a proper subset of B. So this is not a proper subset of B. Good. Let's continue. Another example. Set A, sorry, set D, this set of blueberry, cranberry, and mango. Set C, the set of X such that X is a set of fruits. Let's actually figure out, right? What's going on here? So, well, if this is a set of fruits, how do we write in a roster form? I think we already know, right? If you watch a couple of videos back then, you know what is roster form. Roster form is set of fruits. So you can have a blueberry, well, I don't want to write whole thing. Oh, you know what? I'm going to write down a small letter. Yeah. Blue berry you know i'm just not writing everything cranberry mango you know and many more dot 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 look at this here so what does it mean it means you set of fruits is infinite set i have a blueberry I have a cranberry, I have a mango. Do I have those? Yes. 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 Plus I have some extras. So clearly all the elements of set D in set C plus set C has some extra plus D is not equal to C. So therefore, therefore we can say D is a proper subset of c clearly you see that okay very good let's continue number of distincts proper subset well let's have some opening on this one okay let's have some opening on this one for example uh, i'm going to have this one as a set and i'm going to underline here a couple of them actually here let's see and i'm going to do a subset right now we know what is set what is subset and i'm going to have number of subset number of subset all right here you go guys by now you guys know what is that what is this guys please tell me it's a null set or empty set we're going to write down as a subset. Okay. And how many subset is there? An empty set has exactly one subset. Exactly one subset. So one, I can say 2 to the power is 0. I want to make sure you see the reasoning here. Okay. You follow the reasoning, actually. Okay. Now, if I have one element here, I'm going to put a number actually in this case one one element right so i can say well now this one will have 
2. Why is that 2? Let me check it out here. 2 to the power 1 is exactly 2 subset. If one set has one element, you are going to have two subsets. If set has no element, you're going to have one subset. If set has, if set has two element, one and two. Okay. One, two. Clearly, I can, well, let's have some room here. Okay, one, two, right? And I can have a little more here actually. I can have one. I can have two. So, and also I can have empty set. Look, so guess what? One, two, three, four. So I have technically Four is equal to two to the power two. There is a reason why I'm doing this, okay, guys. Okay, so let's continue here. If a set has four of them, sorry, three is three element. One, two, three element. Oh, by the way, it doesn't have to be number only. It can be letter. It can be word. It can be any anything, right? Okay, so. As long as we, ha we don't have a capital letter here, okay? So we have this one down here. One, two, three. And we can have one, two. And we can have another one here. One, three. One three one three, and we can have two three two three, and also we can have one, we can have two. And we can have three. And we can have empty set. So what is going on here? We can clearly see eight equal to <coughs> excuse me, eight equal to two to the power three. That many subset we have eight subset. Excuse me. So doing so, looking into this pattern, right, we can come up with a conclusion. What is the conclusion? Look, the number of distinct, the number of distinct subset of a finite set is always 2 to the power n. If you look for distinct subset, where n is the number of element a. Okay, it's going to be always correct. Now I can look into this one here, guys. Check. Determine the number of distinct subset given. So I see 2 to the power. <coughs> excuse me. 2 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 to the power 4. So clearly 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 16. That many distinct subset we can find. See that? So lovely. Now let's take a look on the next one here. This time we're going to talk about number of distinct proper subset. So well, we're going to use a formula one less. So it's going to be two to the power n minus one. That is the formula actually for proper subset. Okay. So we basically do two to the power in this case one two three four minus one. So we know is 16 minus 1 which is 15 